What's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to do CSX. They just had something happen on Friday. Manly Ridge just sold $305 million of its shares. And uh, let's get right into what's going on. And just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications and uh, like the video. Let's get right into it. Large stockholder of CSX sells $305 million of its shares. On Wednesday, they sold 1.93 million shares, and then on Friday, they ended up selling 2.78 million of CSX shares. So is this gonna be the trend in the next coming weeks or months? And are other institutional holders, are they gonna start following suit? Lots of questions. So you can see the employees aren't really too happy with CSX. You can see there's a CSX sucks page, and one of the bosses at CSX said this, you'll do what you're told, you little bleep, that could have been anything. So we also got employees suing CSX. So they're basically suing them for wrongful termination. So basically they called out sick and then they either got terminated or they got suspended. So last year they terminated 4,000 jobs and this is from contractors and employees. And some employees have said that they even been denied personal days off and sick days. So this goes into what they were saying and why some of the employees are actually suing the company. So nonetheless, CSX by 2020 is gonna be shedding 3,000 more employees. So they keep on firing more and more employees. They're really trying to save money here and cut the books. So right here, they got the target price going for 74.68. I don't really see it getting there for some odd reason, I just don't. The Manually Ridge right here, uh, this isn't updated yet. Uh, they have 42 million something shares. And now they're pretty much gonna be under 40 million shares, but it's still a substantial amount of the shares. All of these other institutional holdings still have a lot of shares. So here's the CSX webpage, you can see very nice, has scrolling photos. So I got the chart pulled up here, high of 76 and a low of 58. You can see it's definitely in a downtrend. You got the trend line right here, it's trending down. And uh, this is at resistance right now, and this is what makes me think why they actually sold. Let me zoom in here. So I got a gut feeling that they think that this stock is not gonna go up any higher than this resistance right here. So that's why I got a feeling they sold right around this area. So they're trying to get their profits and just get out. So that's what I'm thinking this might be a good short right now. Definitely a long-term one. So the stock price right now is at 66.20 cents. Uh, like I said, I think it would be a really good time to get in here for a short. And then if it drops down a lot, then I think it's going to be a pretty good buy once the market starts to recover and everything. So just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications and like this video. And uh, let's make some money. I'm out.